you guys. Hey, it's Mr. Anderson here. We are getting ready to show you uh, our fourth video. This is a uh, yarn coiling part four, take one. And you guys, let's go to our other. You don't need to see power school. Let's go to our screen here. Um, I've got several things to talk about for your future project. And we're going to go back in time and show a couple review things for you because uh, I have a couple students that came back today and we're going to get them started on this project. But let me move out of the little screen and over, whoops, that way. It's backwards, isn't it? <laughs> and over to the project area, okay? Now, you guys, I have, first off, I want to do a little show and tell. Uh, I wanted to show and tell, I think this hasn't made a lot of progress since yesterday, but I, I talked about yes in yesterday's video how to kind of turn the corner on these and start, instead of going just flat, you know, like a coaster or a trivet, turning the corner to make it into a, a some sort of vessel, okay? Um, here in a little bit, I'll talk about adding new jute, you know, your core. I'm going to talk about that, and we're going to use uh, piolas as an example for that. Uh, also, I wanted to update you on the one, for those of you at home that accepted the challenge and watched the video, you know that I made a needle out of a paper clip, and that I didn't have any yarn, so I used all trash bags. So I've been using, for the core of this, I've been using the handles of the trash bag. Can you tell it's the handle? The handle of the trash bags is the core. And then the strips that I cut from in between is what I wrap around the handles. And then same process that we use for the yarn after several rotations, I just give it a stitch. Now I have to say, you'll notice I got to be better about putting this on camera, don't I? I'll have to say that you will notice that I am using a needle on this instead of my homemade uh, paper clip needle. The only reason is because I have a needle. This paper clip, uh oh, message. Hey, this paper clip needle works great. The only thing is occasionally it snags because the, it, you know, the, plastic it'll get a hold of it and rip it um but it still works okay so just to show you it is possible to make this without having any of our yarn or jute i can make that out of plastic i'm going to continue this and maybe monday show you another video with some progress on that maybe a little progress on this hey real quick let me do a show and tell of a student work this one is Jalen's. And we kind of showed her how to end that today to wrap it up. She has a nice little bowl here. It's really nice. Now I'm trying to talk her into making a lid for it. Okay, so since we have some people that are just going to start that are back from quarantine and stuff. Uh, and it is a hat for baby Ricky at the moment. Those of you at home probably don't know about baby Ricky. Or they do. Well, obviously baby Ricky. Okay, so it's a hat right now. Um... So, real quick, we've got to go back in time, back to video one, and I have a student that hasn't started here, and what I'm going to do, this is a review for you guys at home, but bear with me. Of course, if you don't want to see the review, you could always fast forward, right? Anyway, in the day of technology. Hey, I've got my, my core. I'll make this kind of a quick review. I've got my yarn to start this out. I lay the yarn and the core in opposite directions. I'm going to start wrapping this yarn about an inch back from the core, and I'm going to start wrapping it to the left so that it wraps up the end of the yarn and it won't come unwound. Sorry about the robot sound. That's my phone. Um, didn't mean to have my phone on. Let me answer this.
There we go. Okay. Now, you guys, let's start this. I'm going to start wrapping this around the core. I'm going to try and stay here so you guys can see it. And you notice I've left about an inch of this core exposed. And now I'm going to wrap around to the left. And you'll notice as I'm wrapping to the left, I'm burying the end of the yarn underneath my coils, okay? Then, after I've got about an inch coiled up, I'm going to bend this coiled section in half, okay? Now, after I've bent that in half, you can see I'm holding it together. If you can see here, my phone is going crazy right now. <laughs> Sounds like R2-D2. Here we go. I'm going to start coiling around both the core that's off to the left and that end that I bent over. Remember, I left about an inch and coil over both of them. And that way, it's holding it all together. So once I get about another inch, check this out. The end of the yarn has been buried. It can't come unwound. The end of the jute has been buried. And now... I'm going to bend, oh, right before I do this, you guys, I forgot to tell you, go ahead and put your needle on the other end of the yarn. By the way, these needles, if you remember, those of you that watched the first day, they're very easy to thread. If you just kind of pinch the end of your yarn, put it right at the end of the needle, you can pretty much do it one-handed with practice, with practice, right? Okay, now back to this. I'm going to now take this little eyelet, I call it an eyelet because it looks like an eyelet, and bend it over. And you guys, when I bend this over, this looks like a little backwards E. And I'm going to take my needle and put the needle through that little eyelet hole. Okay? And carefully string my yarn through, and that should hold it together. Now, I just want to show you something. This is review for you that those of you that already watched this. This is the center of this project. It is the center of this project. You can't on the black, it's hard to see that. It is the center of this project. Can you see that same shape? It's the center. Okay, hey, it's the center of this plastic project. Okay, same shape. It's all the same. All the technique, whether I'm using plastic, whether I'm using jute, whether I'm using yarn with clothesline, whatever I'm using, it's the same. Then, here's where it gets easy. All I do now is wrap this around, one, two, three, four, and hold it together. Oh, let me move. I lost all my stuff here. Okay, here we go. Get my needle and give it a stitch. Now, for the first time going around, rotating around this little eyelet, I'm going to be stitching. I'm going to be giving it four or five wraps and stitching it into that center hole. Okay. Once I get all the way around this one time, I will stop stitching into the center hole. You can see it better on this. And I'll start stitching into the coil. See, I don't stitch from here all the way to the center anymore. I stitch from here to here. Okay, now let's go back to this. Just go around it one, two, three, four, five, and then give it a stitch. When this thing is the size of a coaster, I'm still going to be going one, two, three, four, five, and giving it a stitch. When this thing is the size of a trivet, I'm still going to be going one, two, three, four, five, and giving it a stitch. And in case that was too fast, let me go slow-mo mode. Are we ready for slow-mo mode? One, two, three, four, five. Hold that together and 
Так. Slow-mo mode. Hey, so, hey, we're live on the air. Quiet on the set. Hey, so you guys, that wasn't really slow-mo. That was me pretending it was slow-mo. Now, you guys, this one has been started. I believe this is Grace. Grace, do you want yours here? Oh, come up here. I'll get it to you. And you try it out. Now, real quick, before we move on to changing a color for, I think, Ryan's, can Ian, do you need me to get you started here? Yeah. Bring it up here, and I'll get him started. I'm going to do it on tape so people can see it. I figure if you see it enough times, two things. You see it enough times, you might be able to do it. But one key would be to try it enough times, right? If you try it and you fail, try, try again. Okay, so here I have Ian's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my needle on one side of this yarn. Now this time I will... I will go slow mode through the whole thing. All right. So let's go. Let's see if I can go slow mode through the whole thing. And you guys, if you need the words, you can rewind. I'll line that up. I'll wrap around slowly. Whoop, I'm right. I want to go to the left, not to the right. I want to leave about an inch, wrap about an inch. Bend this over, wrap about another inch. Okay. Hey, by the way, this class is being really good filming. They were great yesterday filming. I love how quiet it is. It's easy for me to do a video when I can concentrate just on the actual art or the instructions. Now, again, whoops. Hey, by the way, sometimes if you get a knot, Rather than try and pull that through, if you realize you're getting a knot, just let off. It happens all the time on this project. Hey, I think I mentioned it in first video. The reason we only get about six foot of yarn and six foot of jute is to help prevent the uh, tangling up or knotting. Okay? But still, it happens every once in a while. Okay? Now... I guess I forgot about slow mode already. I'm back in business. I'm already starting to go. Oh, this blue yarn appears to want to clump together. But that's okay. Just go slow. As it gets shorter, it will happen less frequently. Okay? So, Ian is off and running. All he has to do is wrap it about five times to give it a stitch. And we'll check on him in a little bit and see how the progress is on the new starter ones okay but right now we want to probably have ryan bring his up and we're gonna can ryan get a new color so that we're gonna change a color do a review of how to change colors which both ian and grace will have to do here soon right when that when this yarn here is used up you can use the same color this whole thing could be blue or he could switch colors, you know. But either way, we got to add yarn, okay? And that's what we're going to do with Ryan's. And that'll be a review. We'll call it Friday Review Day. All right. Ian, do you want to try that? Look, at he's, oh, wait, he's off and going. Look, he's got a spiral going. And he can try. And don't worry. If anything messes up, we can fix it. I think I mentioned in yesterday's video, mistakes are okay. Because then I can show you how to fix it. Look at this mistake. This was a funny one yesterday. Woo, that thing's a mess. Hey, we'll talk about that later. Uh, real quick, that jute gets all over this. Let's check this out. Now, Ryan has his here, okay? And his new string here. Got it? All right, he's got blue. Whoa, did I hit the camera? Whoa, I hit the camera. Hit the camera. Don't want to do that. Hey, all right, now first off, you guys, Ryan has left us just a little bit of yarn, which isn't enough to bury the new yarn, if you remember from yesterday's episode. So what I'm going to do is unwind this a little bit, okay? I need to unwind it 
enough so that we can get it's hard to see when it's sometimes when the yarn is dark it's harder to see where things are so I'm looking at the end of this and somewhere here it should come unwound there we go now here we go look at that I started it get it unwound if you can get this unwound maybe here you know you can see he's got some little splinters off of here that's okay we can bury that he's got a he's got a lot of coiling going on here see a big lump here but you know we're gonna leave that we're gonna just start right where he left off or close to it I'm gonna put the needle back on if this one's his I don't know uh doesn't matter here we go now you guys for adding a new color hey uh Gila, thanks for helping and grace this is a, something that you guys are going to need to do you can see right now the avian is up getting his own yarn he knows how to add a color and he now can do it on his own that's my goal is if you guys can do it on your own then you're going to be able to help the people that come back tomorrow or monday you know each day now if i put my new yarn right along the core here like so and I start wrapping the old, the end of the old yarn around the new end of the new yarn. Okay, it's a little harder to see when the yarn's black and blue, as opposed to a higher contrast switch, you know. But just like normal, give it a stitch here, and now the new yarn is buried. The end of it is underneath the old yarn, okay? Now, go ahead and take your needle off the old yarn. Find the end of the new yarn here. And go ahead and thread your needle. All right? Then, I'm going to switch this blue yarn off of the core. And I'm going to lay the old yarn along the core. And I'm going to just continue wrapping... And this will bury the end of the old yarn onto the core so it will not come unraveled. Okay, so for review, the old yarn, the, or I'm sorry, the blue yarn or the new yarn is buried under here. And now the old yarn end is being buried under this new yarn. Okay, it's being wrapped in. So, there's no way it can come unwound, all right? If this ends up gigantic, it still won't come unwound. All right, so, let's see. Let me get this back to Ryan here. He has his project going. All right, there we go, color change. Now, now we want to probably talk about adding a new core. The thing is, you guys, those of you at home might not have a new core to add. Now, I think Piola might be ready for that. Are you ready for that, Piola? Let's see how long do you have. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Piola's is longer than you need to be, but there's no reason we can't cut it off and add a new one. I've got plenty of core. It's, I guess you might think a little bit wasteful, but it, for purposes of education here uh, for purposes of people knowing how to do it at home we might as well do it this is a perfect time to do it Piola has plenty of string here to wrap because I, I think I might I, I don't know if I've talked about this yet or not I have in classes so you want to you don't want to have to change string in the middle of trying to change this you know you want to change one before the other so this perfect time she's got new string and Will you get another piece of core? You can see she has a lot of core left, but we're not going to get to this before the end of class. So, But she could, if she was going to work on it this weekend, let's say, she might want a new piece of core, which usually, again, just like the string, we usually do it about six foot long, okay? I don't know how long. And it might be a little bit shorter. That's okay, too. No, that's probably six foot long. Now, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, like as if I was at the end of it. 
Okay, so imagine you're here. And let me see the new one. Okay, now imagine I put overlap these and I start wrapping them up. What would happen is I'd have a lump that's double the size. You know, the core would be like thick right there. It'd be a lumpy spot. Now, I can prevent that a little bit if I unwind this jute just a touch. And if I cut, these are, if I unwind this, see how I've got, it's like three strands. I'm going to, it's like, I'm going to cut one of them. I'm going to cut one of them about an inch back, okay? There we go. Then I'm going to unwind this other one. Now, best would be to just cut two of these off, right? Let's do that. I'm going to cut one about an inch off and one maybe about a half inch off, okay? I thinned it out. I thinned it out so the lump won't be so big. I'm going to put these all back together like it's overlapping. And then the tough part about this, you guys, is you, you're going to coil like normal, but you've got to kind of hold this all together, hold your new core splices together till you get past it. Now, Piola's doing, it looks like about eight or 10 stitches between, or eight or 10 coils between stitches, which is great. Because then I can go ahead and, you know, do about that many through this core before I do a stitch. Okay, and I'm thinking I'm really close to needing a stitch in here. Now the tough part is I don't want to let loose too much. You can see it's a little bit of a lump there. Actually, it's not bad at all. I'll give it a stitch. But I can feel in my fingers that I'm not all the way past the splice. So... Again, be careful. Well, if I let go and like pulled on the string, it might all come out, right? And the worst thing that could happen with that is you had to back it up and start again. Okay, it's no big deal. But you can see I'm not totally past the splice yet. You see that? There's a little bit I got to go. Another inch. So continue to split, go through this. Let's do one more round before a stitch. Okay. Now, you won't want to pick this up and start swinging it right away either because the splice is real close, right? So, uh, here we go. Get her about right in here somewhere. I'll give it another stitch. And guess what? She has enough jute to, let, whoop, to last her the weekend. And there's enough string here so she doesn't have to get new string yet. She can keep going. And she's ready. Look, she's got a whole nother set. Or whoops, you guys, I'm off camera again. Am I off camera that whole time? Anybody see what I was doing? Uh, my director and my my producer weren't watching either. <laughs> anyway, um, here we go. I'll give this back to Piola. I think we got it. Hopefully everybody at home could see it. Thanks. Now, you're welcome. Hey, you guys, so... Those of you at home, I think that's the things we wanted to review today and talk about today. Um, I'm not going to show how to end it like I did on uh, Jalen's. I'll show that on video next week, okay? Because I don't think anybody in this class is ready for that. Um, hey, real quick, before I sign off, let me do a quick fast forward of Clea's. Can I show yours real quick, Clea? Let me do a couple, can I do a couple turns on it? Awesome. Oh, here it is. Look at this color. Whoa. We have yellow and red. Wait, whoops, there we go. Okay, so, hey, uh, I'll put this off to one side. I'm going to do a couple turns here for her. Okay, all we do, just for you guys that are sitting at home thinking, I can't remember what to do. Just go one, just go around the core. Hey, I always hold it in this hand, whatever one I'm working on. I'm always holding it in my left hand. Hey, if you're left-handed and you end up doing this totally backwards, I suppose that's how you do it, totally backwards. Okay? Then give it a stitch. And you can see where I'm stitching it, right? You can see the stitches are going into the core that's next to it. So go around it about five times. I don't know if I did five. I lost count. It's all right. And give it a stitch. Okay. There you go. Now, she's off and running. Hey, real quick, you guys, when you get this 
like this one here I'm doing with the juke and the raffia same thing except you know I'm holding it up here so that this will continue to go up I go around it five times with my raffia and you guys I think I told you this on camera yesterday that I wanted the core to be a little thicker so I used two core pieces two pieces of uh, jute and you guys when I splice this what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'll splice one early and then when I you know I'll do one at a time I'll put cut one of these off at a different length than this one and go ahead and coil in the new one one of the new ones and then when I get to the end of the other one I'll coil in another new one and then I'll have two again but I'll probably wait till I get to about here okay to do that which I'm close I'm close um okay so you guys at home I hope you have a good day hope you have a good weekend hey if you're if you're taking on the challenge of the trash bag one hey send me a picture I would love to show it in classes I've been showing this all day I told the people yesterday I might make this into a hat I might make it into a bag made of bags that holds bags we'll find out we'll find out next week so don't forget to tune in let me go back over to our other camera uh, Oh, 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 a little, little bit of obstacles on the, on the set. Okay, I'm back. You guys, let's just say have a great weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the little bell. Hey, quiet on set, girls. Hey, by the way, a couple people are helping each other. I really appreciate that. Those of you guys that will help each other, that really helps me. Um, have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I will see you.